What is up, guys? So today we got to speak about it, man. We got to talk about Simone Biles and her exit from the Olympic. But before we get into Simone Biles and some of the, you know, backlash that she's receiving, make sure you give the video a big thumbs up, man, so you know every single time that I post here on the channel. Also, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any posts. I literally post maybe three to four different discussions of topics throughout each and every day. So make sure you guys are tuned in for all those as well. So Simone Biles, Olympic gymnast, greatest gymnast of all time, the GOAT of GOATs in any type of sport, right? I think she's won seven straight national U.S. titles. She swept the Olympics la uh, last time they had the Olympics with goals, bumping Gabby Douglas out of that famed, you know, the greatest black girl gymnast, whatever they was going on with Gabby Douglas. But now she's under fire because she took a step back from the team finals, right? This was initially she went on the vault. Took a little bit of a stumble, and they said she left for the day for mental reasons. Now, I read somewhere, and I don't know if this is reputable, but I read somewhere that she was suffering from aerial dysplasia, right? This is what I read. I don't, I'm, not, I'm not confirming that this is a, a real thing. Maybe somebody just threw it in there to shoot her some belt. That's possible, because we're going to talk about all sides today. We're going to talk about all different sides of this conversation. But if it is true that she's aerial dysplasia, which they say, messes with your mind when you in the air pilots get it they can't really figure out where to land like it's a real thing if she's flipping through the air and she don't have control of her body of when to land when not to land do whatever twist do whatever if she hit her neck and break her neck she should not compete in the olympics like that's one of those things that you should not compete in the olympics right so people are giving her flack of course like this is a conserve they look conservatives when there's like a, a public figure that isn't conservative. Now, I'm not saying that uh, Simone Biles is super liberal. I don't even know what the fuck she believes. In. I don't know. I could assume she's probably liberal if she was to expound on her beliefs. I could assume that. But they just be chomping at the bits ready to take somebody else. So this is Charlie Kirk. He runs something called Turning Point USA. It's like a political action. I don't know what it is. Some shit like that. Where they get young conservatives. They do meetups and this and political thing. Whatever. All that type of political shit they do for the younger people that are like in college. This is what he had to say in regards to Simone Biles. Today it's like, you know what? I'm not going to do something stupid and get hurt. It's just not worth it. Especially when you have like three amazing athletes that can step up to the plate and do it. And he's reading a statement Simone Biles made. Do you know who has the gold medal? Russia. Oh, Russia. Russia. I have to go look at these four foot eleven Russian Olympi Olympians Putin. chewing on their gold medals, smirking at the Americans. I'm not okay with that. Oh my God, but I honestly, hate. that's where we're headed. This is why, like, I, I I probably believe in a lot, like more like family, like certain values that are considered conservative. I won't say family because everybody has family, but like some conservative things I agree with, some like left leaning things I agree with. But like, this is why I can't go like all in on one side because like this side says some crazy shit and these people say wow shit. Like, bro, I'm th when I'm thinking about Simone Biles leaving the Olympics, I'm not thinking about China winning, Russia winning. They, they, they're so wrapped up in this world that they live in. The Russians smirking at the American. Like, no, it's fucking gymnastics. Like, Jesus Christ. Now, people, but the historical, I don't give a fuck about that. This is ridiculous. He also said that she is a, let me see what else he says. We are raising a generation of weak people like Simone Biles. Again, if you want to be, if she got all these mental health problems, don't show up. She's an incredible athlete. Of course she's an incredible athlete. I'm not saying, I just said she's probably the greatest gymnast of all time. She's also very selfish. She's immature and she is a shame to the country. She's totally a sociopath. Of course she's a sociopath. Andrew says she's not a sociopath. What kind of person skips the gold medal match? Who does? Someone who fucked up in the head. Like, this is my thing. Why do people care so much? Uh, these people, the thing is, uh, let me give you the re my response to that. Why they, they don't really give a fuck. It's something to talk about. It's a big thing. She's a big gymnast. It's America. Hoorah. A lot of people I've heard, they've tied it into, like, I was watching Jason Whitlock. Jason Whitlock tied her not wanting to be in the Olympics to the hatred for America. And he brought like a history lesson up because they hate America. They don't care about the American flag. They only think about themselves. They're not thinking about representing America as a whole. So it's easy for her to step away when she's only thinking about herself. Now, 
we can get honest and we can get real because now we saw my athletics, right? We saw my athletics here, right? Simone Biles is being pandered around and pop, lifted up to this thing of mental health and all that shit. And we talking about strictly sports. Now, if she really fucked up in the head and is fucking with her, I don't give a fuck. I'm not a gymnast. Uh, I'm not relying on it. Now, do I feel bad for the other girls? Because obviously, you know, she's oh, the other girls, it was, it was their first Olympics. They did great. They got a silver medal. If I'm looking at Simone, I'm like, bitch, if you would have competed out, not bitch, but if I'm the girl, I'm thinking, bitch, bitch, if you would have competed, we could have got gold. Because them three other girls might not meddle in anything else, individual, all around. They might not get nothing else. But bitch, I could have got this gold. Because them Olympic girls, you know, you might only got that one shot. These little 12-year-old, 14, 15-year-olds that's doing Olympics their whole life or gymnastics, they coming up next time. This might be my only opportunity. And you went out because too much stress? Now, we're talking about this is me on the sports tip of it, right? Because let's be 100%. I'm not going to sugarcoat shit. If that was LeBron James who sat his ass down in the third quarter of the game seven of the finals and was like, you know what? My mental health fucked up. He'd be dragged to hell and back and back to hell again. If Tom Brady, when he was down to the Falcons, 28-3, came out of halftime and said he was too stressed and mentally unstable to play against the Falcons, they would have been on Tom Brady's ass. And I see that's, that's a narrative that a lot of people are pushing. Because that's an honest narrative. If this was a guy... He would be dragged through the mud if it was a mental thing of why he wasn't competing no more. Now, we're going to talk about just sport, just this that aspect. I can, I understand that point. And I would have that same point, that same critique. Because a lot of people are pushing, oh, my gosh, she's a hero. If that was LeBron James, I would have killed him. If that was anybody that was a dude that was in sports, y'all would have killed him. But Simone Biles, she's a, she's a woman, so, you know, She's a dainty flower. She's a little lady. She's a awesome athlete. Amazing. The greatest. I don't think she's a shame to America. I don't give a damn. And these people don't give a damn. They just have to be. It, it, people just be feeding their audience. That's all. They're feeding into what they think their audience wants them to say. Charlie Kirk don't give a damn. That's why he brought up the Russians. Because he, his audience is going to be like, yeah, the, the Chinese and the Russians. Like, Dumb shit. Who gives a damn? Because if it was like another team, if it was the damn Bohemians, I know that's a real place, but I think I think about Bohemian Rhapsody. But if it was the whatever, the Belize people that won, you gonna be saying that shit. But you know, American politics, Russia, so you're trying to tie that in with all that. I get it. I see what you're doing. You pander to the audience. Clay Travis has something to say about her. She's weak. She's dead. She's dead. I get it. But you know. Y'all trying to take over for Rush Limbaugh. So they're trying to, you know, get the numbers up. But do they really care? Probably not. Is it an easy headline to kill? Yes, because like I said, if we're going to talk about just strictly sports, I'm not going to call out her name. She's a shame to America. Or this is the generation that we raised because of people trying to push critical race, and, uh, uh, dumb shit. No, no, no. Just on the level of if that was somebody else, they would have been dragged through the mud. But if she really felt too much stress, that's on her. Can we critique her? Yeah, critique her. But I ain't going to say she's ashamed of the country. Can we critique her for not having the mental toughness? Yes. Because she was running around saying that she was the GOAT. I'm the GOAT. None of these girls could beat me. I read a Pierce Morgan article. He brought up an interview he did with her where he asked her, two years ago, when you get to Tokyo, who could beat you? The other guy smirked, said, nobody, some other gymnast, nobody. They will bust out laughing. Die. She's cocky. She even, re, I think it was recently she said, they know I'm so good or something to this effect. I'm so good that if one of these other girls did what I do, they would score it fairly. But since I'm doing it and I'm so like, you know, far ahead of these chicks, they're not going to score it fairly. And they were doing that to her. But if you take this, if it's not the aerial display that I explained in the beginning, and if it's just something like you stressed out, you got to over because that's what makes goats. Goats overcome the stress, right? Michael Jordan, when he was getting his ass beat up by the Pistons, he was probably hella stressed. But he fought through and now look up six championships later. Yeah, 
she she's already won golds, right? She's got all the golds from last time. She's national champion, world champ. She's got the golds. She got the accolades. But I do feel sorry for them girls because, like, damn, uh, I keep wanting to call it Gabby. Damn, Simone. I know your head a little fucked up, but you know, like, if you don't want to compete in, like, if you compete in individuals, it's like that's where people be like, damn, you was a little, you ain't that damn stressed. You're looking a little selfish, right? Because Simone, no, I don't know these other chicks, but from when I be looking at Olympic shit, I see Simone, and then like they be talking about these Chinese girls, in like a Russian, it's like the top people. So that might have been the only opportunity for these young ladies, because nobody gives a damn about silver, they give a damn about gold. So this might have been the only time for these ladies in their life to acquire an Olympic gold medal, and you know you let your team down. It's like, like if we bring it back to LeBron. These these contests aren't real, but let's just say they are for hypothetical purposes. If there was a team championship, which there is, LeBron's team, just say it like this. This is how the Olympics were ran for basketball. The Olympic team's going for gold. They need LeBron. They don't have all these. America isn't the powerhouse that America is, right? America just has LeBron. And we need LeBron because we know LeBron's there. We're going to win. And LeBron sits out because his mental toughness isn't there. He's mentally fucked up or whatever. And then LeBron goes on to win the Olympics in three-point shooting, win the Olympics in dunking, win the Olympics in handles, wins the Olympics in whatever other bat and passing. If those were real things, them teammates would be looking at LeBron a little bit weird, like, damn. So you can go get the glory for yourself, but you can't go get the glory for us. I get that critique. I get it. I get that critique. Just all that extra shit, she's a shame, and this, and Jason Whitlock was bringing up, does she not know the history of people? Like, all that, all right, all right. She wasn't mentally there. Is that goat thinking in sports? No, it's not. But am I going to railroad and kill the girl and call her a disgrace to the country? No. She'll probably, th she probably maybe thinks like, damn, maybe I should have competed. Maybe in her head, she's like, damn, I kind of fucked up. Like, people's comparing it to Naomi Osaka, right? I looked at the Naomi Osaka shit like if she don't want to compete, that's her bread. If she don't want to do the French Open because her head ain't right, if she don't want to do the U.S. Open because her head not right, that don't affect me. That don't affect my money. All it do is give another one of these chicks an opportunity to co-claim the gold and elevate their status. If she don't want to do media, why do I give a fuck? But the, that's why that's why conservatives will never be cool and cultural because they like to just jump on everything that's culturally relevant and shit on it. That's why they'll never be culturally cool. They can act like they don't want to be culturally cool, but they do. You can see by the things they do. They react to TikToks. They try to get into the culture. They want to be culturally cool, but they always shit on things that are deemed by cultural coolness. They shit on them. It's like, you know, I know as soon as I seen this shit, that that damn, and it's for both sides. When I seen it, I knew. People on the other side, they was going to praise her. She's a hero. She's this, she's that. And I knew that on the other side, they was going to destroy her, kill her, and toss her to the wolves. I already knew. Because that's the game that these people play. They don't really care. They just tend to the audience that they, they think is going to think that way. That's why this guy was bringing up Russia. Oh, I got to look at Russia smiling and this. Huh? Nigga, you don't give a damn. America's winning gold and all kind of. I seen an American won gold in archery, shooting, cycling, this, that. I mean, you don't care. They don't care. But Simone Biles is gonna look crazy when she's gonna compete in them individuals. Because people gonna be looking at her like, damn, you couldn't, you know, help the team out, but you can help yourself out. So they will be looking at her with that selfish lens on. So, and people on Twitter, they're not, they don't like to be honest. I seen there was an article. They were trying to kill Ben Shapiro because Ben Shapiro said that if this was any male athlete, this would not fly. <laughs> it wouldn't. Just be, it would not fly. They wouldn't let, it wouldn't fly. But because Simone, Simone Biles is a lady and she's a black lady, you know, people got to tread lightly on their commentary. Like I said, that's not goat shit. It's not. In sports, you got to persevere. In sports, you got to pull through. Now, if she was sitting in the back, like Rick Ross is right here with the, with the thing. 
Like she was ready to end it all. They're like, okay, let her, let her. If she ready to end it all because of gymnastics, then let her chill. But Vision's like, oh, I'm so stressed. I got so much pressure. You gotta, you know, you gotta. Because when she win that gold, I feel like the pressure gone. If she win the gold, where's what's the pressure? You can't have goat. Like I ain't gonna be on here saying I'm the goat of podcast and the goat of commentary, the goat of this. And when I gotta go, you know, say say I gotta debate against. I don't even like the debate, but say I gotta have a conversation with somebody. And there might be a little bit back and forth. I thought you was, a, and I pull out like, oh, I'm, my, my head fucked up. Like, damn, I thought you was the go to commentary. I thought you, you know, you was able to articulate yourself in response to another person. But now you done pulled out. I'm a little crazy. But, you know, sports, sports wise, you can't do that. Life wise, do I really give a damn? Can she do whatever she wants? Like, whatever repercussions come from that, whatever consequences come from her not competing, she got to live with that. Do I think she should be praised if it's really just like I was too stressed? No, because people, you can't like make that an overwhelmingly like good thing. Like, oh, if you get a little bit stressed, just pull out and move on with your life. You know, just do that. People trying to bash up the, the Naomi Osaka shit is different. Not wanting to speak the press is different. It's a different situation. Not the same. But... Let me know what you guys in the comment section down below, man. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so that every single time that I post here. Also, if you have not already, you need to get a video, a big thumbs up right now. I'll see you guys next time. It's your boy D-Friend. Peace.